Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, December 19, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Today, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading up by two and three quarter points. Right now, futures are sitting at 26.97 and a quarter per contract. So all in all, futures up taking a little bit. Yesterday, we had a pretty big day in the market. You generally, after a big day like that, we'll get what we call a pause day where the markets will be somewhat sub subdued. Now, we are looking uh, at a potential tax vote today. I think that's already baked into the cake, most of it. So again, we're not going to get a big, big uh, pop if the tax bill does get voted on and passed today. But either way, uh, we'll see how it plays out and we'll see what this market gives us. In the meantime, let's go to stocks in the news. First one we're going to take a look at is going to be NAV. This is Navistar. You're going to see the stock is trading at $46.55. This is up from $42.19, which was yesterday's close. So pretty good move up here for Navistar. Briefly, the stock did trade above the 48 level, has pulled back a little bit, but still a pretty good day overall. We'll be looking at this one once the opening bell rings. I do think there's going to be a lot of resistance up around the $50 level. So be aware of that, and we'll see what it gives us. Right now, no move here in the name, but we will look at it once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at DRI, which is Darden Restaurants. Stock right now is trading at $93.15. This is on the back of earnings. Stock closed yesterday at $90.54, so this is a good little pop. When you look at, say, a weekly chart, uh, you'll get an idea that you are going into pretty good resistance here. I'm just going to pull that weekly up for you, and you'll see $95 was a pretty big pivot there so again we're going to give this the upside bias into that pivot it's going to be a little bit tough to get through there though so again watch for some resistance there if it can get through there this stock does have a hundred dollar uh hundred dollar price tag on its radar uh going forward i don't think it'll get up there today but again uh dri pretty strong this morning and the trend is up in the name let's take a look at cbi which is chicago bridge and iron i think they are merging with mcdermott um, looks like the stock right now is trading at 1810, closed at 1792. I don't think there's a whole lot to do here. So again, we'll look at it in, once the opening bell rings, but I believe they are going to be uh, merging with another company. Let's take a look at General Motors. They're moving on an upgrade. GM right now trading at 4280. Stock uh, getting an upgrade today. Closed at 42.15, so a little bit of an uptick. I happen to think GM is a little bit overbought for my liking, but the stock is still holding up very, very well, and the trend is up in the name. Michael Kors also getting upgraded today. Stock right now is trading at uh, 63.50, closed at 63.19. This has probably a more upside in the cards. Trend is up. It is definitely overbought here. So if anybody owns Michael Kors, you got to protect it with a trailing stop. But the reality of it is the trend is up and this has been moving higher each and every day. Walmart also upgraded WMT. Right now, Walmart sitting at 99.42. Again, Walmart briefly hit uh, the $100 level last month and it's really been trading sideways ever since. So this is hanging in there pretty well. We'll see if it gets to 100 today. Next up, we have Apple with a downgrade. That's a rarity. But Apple being downgraded, stock right now is trading at 174.95, closed at 176.42. So decent little uh, haircut here for Apple. We'll see where it goes. The only level that would really interest me for Apple this morning, um, <clears throat> if it did get down there, would be around the 171.75 level. 171, yeah, 171.75. I think that's a really, really good level today. If Apple did trade down there by some chance for an intraday bounce, that would just be an intraday play, nothing more than that. Keep that on the radar, 171.75. Let's take a look at some of these uh, blockchain and uh, these these big Bitcoin related names. Overstock is the first one that comes to mind this morning. Stock right now is trading at $73.45. Closed at $75.80. So no real downtick. But look at this move the stock has made recently. This is what we call a parabolic move. It's gone from a pullback level of 41.79 all the way up to 75.80. This is getting a little out of hand, a little ridiculous. We'll see if it get over the 80 level at some point. If it does, it's starting to look like a short. So we'll see how that plays out. Let's take a look at MARA, which is Mara. Uh, this name this morning, when you take a look at the uh, 10 minute chart, is getting hit a little bit. Closed at 634. The stock is now trading at 567. And then you have the all popular Riot blockchain. This stock today uh, briefly traded you know, above the 43 level earlier. 
now down around uh, $35.80. So pretty wild action in some of these Bitcoin related names. And again, we'll be watching them in the intraday stock chat room. So uh, come on over, uh, take that seven day free trial if you haven't done so already. And again, uh, we'll be talking about Bitcoin names as well as everything else under the sun. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market, gold futures trading down about 60 cents. Gold has been pretty strong as of late right now. Gold futures trading at 12.65 an ounce. Take a look at the GLD, which is a good way to track gold. You'll see that's trading at 119.73. Um, <clears throat> basically, right where it closed yesterday. Next up, we have crude oil up 30 cents today, trading at $57.50 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good oil ETF, to track the movement in crude, you'll see this trading at 1148 and again, spot crude at this moment, trading at 57.50. All right, we're going to leave it there, short and sweet. I want to wish you all a great trading day. And again, if you haven't done so, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We've had a great 2017. We're going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. With that being said, everybody, have a great session, and we'll see you on the charts.